Gonna wait a little bit. This. Do I use this color? What do you mean? This is nude. Yeah. Oh, why don't you do one of these? Hi, sister. You're gonna get real tired of me real quick. September 1st. <laughs> Come on over here. <laughs> it's gonna be a long one. Well, I have my assistant. Hold on. All right. That? That color? Yes. Or that color? I'm your assistant. You're my assistant. Okay. Black cherry. Me too. I think you should do the nude. All right. What time to get out? Hello. What up, people? Hola. Bless you. It's not Corona, I swear. <laughs> I know. I don't. I. I do not envy the teachers. Not one bit, sister. I am happy to be exactly what I am doing as a nurse right now from home. Hi, Christy. Did you like? I had to. You saw me yesterday. I was kind of going to have a mental breakdown yesterday. So I needed to really um, fix sure. myself up today. And I'm still not done with laundry. My God, look at these beautiful curls. My sister, if you guys don't know, is the curl master. She has like the hand. Because if you don't know me already, look at this. You see these scars? I don't even know how I get burned. Where? Look, all this is from doing my hair. So my sister is the curl and straightening hair person you need to follow her hi christy how are you long time all right let me get started i have my assistant with me so she's going to be passing me the brushes because she's trying to memorize all the the brushes and the colors you know we got to keep the kids busy while they're still in virtual <laughs> great my sister is actually the Lange, you know, the Lange from the hair product. She's an ambassador for them. So she's at underscore face by me. You guys got to follow her for hair products and tutorials. We're out here doing some business. All right. Okay. All right, Tasha. So we're in training. So she just, she's done with school, but she's going to learn how to do my kind of mascara school too. So, all right. I need... I need my colors. Where's my compact with all my colors? Thank you. I'm gonna do my normal colors. Can you say these, can you guess these colors by just looking at them? Let's see how good you are. I know. Natasha knows them. Bella Bronze. Wait, I'm testing oh. the people. Oh. <laughs> Is it it? Cause I just guessed. Uh-huh, keep going. <laughs> Wrong. I actually got it right? Nope. This is... Let's see. Alright, I'm gonna tell you guys. Indigo, wheat, goddess, and nude. You all had like a piece of it that was right. That looks, maybe it looks a little lighter, but that's indigo. And sister, you know what colors I use, so you're cheating too. Can I have a napkin or a towel to wipe off my brushes, please, assistant? Thank you, assistant. All right, so I'm going to be playing with this live all day, every day. So I'm going to be here all the time. 
I'm going to see what happens to this algorithm if I do a live like every day. Um, you guys can play along with me and do it yourselves and let's see what happens. If not, I'll let you know what happens. I'm not going by like who's on because I just have to do this whenever I have a minute to do it. So, Lord, yes, you're gonna got you guys are gonna be seeing me. <laughs> All you see is like a little hand, right? <laughs> mm. Oh, I need the setting spray. I guess we're it's in the pink bag. Please. Please. Thank you. And the perfector sponge. Thank you. <laughs> She's good, right? All right, so I am setting spray. Is this how you do it or do you spray your face? Spray your face, mom. Oh, it smells so good. I know, it smells really good. <laughs> what do you mean? What are you dying about? <laughs> oh, yeah. I've never even tried spraying it directly on my face because I've seen other ones do it and it gets in their eyes. And you know I can't rub these eyelashes. It's been, it's been a hard. How do you do it, Veronica? Do you spray your face or on the, bra on the sponge? Thank you. Compact, detailed hack. Don't disappoint me, child. Thank you. All right. All right, gonna get started with Indigo. I haven't played with any other contours. I keep saying that I'm gonna use um, Astoria, and I never, ever do. You guys, can you guys all do lives? And let's see what happens if we do live every day on Instagram. And then also, I don't know if one of you have tried it, but I saw it the other day that they put Bella bronzer first. Like they put Bella where they normally put Bella. And then they did their... And then they did their makeup on top of that instead of putting Bella at the end. You know what? I should have just tried that. Um, I wonder how that works. They said that it comes out exactly the same, but like you're not doing Bella afterwards. Yes, yeah, sister. Let's see what happens if we do this like every day or every other day at least. Tasha, what am I doing right now? Contour. And what color is my contour? Indigo. Yep. Would you be indigo? No. Why not? You don't think you could darker. handle? Huh? Darker. You're darker? Am I? No, you can handle indigo. Indigo. You should be. I should be too. I need to go to Publix though. What brush? Oh, you ordered a detail? I do. Oh, yeah. We gotta keep secrets from husbands. That's how we all been married this long. Yes, you can do everything with the detailed. I like this one. Um, I used to really like the 30 second hack, but I don't have it with me. Tatiana has it, my oldest. So I kind of just got used to doing this one. I mean, I use my finger a lot too though. But this is like my one of my favorite brushes. Srinivatsnian? What, are you Russian, sister? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was that meant to say Veronica? <laughs> Hola, Sandra. 
What up, husband? Um, I'm cooking. God, he's on here. <laughs> All right, well, I'm done with my contour. Because, because he's, they, my husband, he's always here to support me, sister. Don't tell me because Dennis is like your number one fan. He's always sharing all your videos. Yes, you sure do, sister. I can't stand how Dennis is all over your videos and commenting. It's so annoying. You guys, you know, I always like to take my indigo and kind of rub it on my lips. Not only does this kind of give you a little pout, but it kind of primes my lips for the color that I'm going to use. Kind of makes them a little bit more matte finish. Our husbands are amazing, sister. We got very lucky. All right, so I'm going my contour. All right, Tashi. Mm -hmm. What's the next color? My wheat. It's yeah. called my highlight. My highlight. My brightening highlight. Brightening highlight. All right. So I'm going to my next color. I'm gonna stick with the same brush. This is the detailed hack. I'm just gonna use the brightener under my eyes. So when you contour your nose, the way I like to do it, not everybody has to do it, obviously, but I like it. I kind of take my brightener and I come down to my nostril side, like right here. It kind of makes your nostril look smaller. It kind of just adds like that illusion, like your nose is a little thinner. And then it also covers that redness that I normally have right there and the little lines that I have right here. So you see, you can already even see, it kind of looks a little brighter, brightener, a little lighter, a little more narrow. All right, and then my eyes, I just kind of go up in this fashion towards the back, kind of lifting things up. Veronica, what um, brighter do you use? All right, and I'm doing the same thing on my other side. So again, I like to cover the sides of my nostrils. Just to give it, just to help that illusion of a thinner nose. And then I come up towards my eye and towards the back. And you don't have to blend anything perfectly right now. You can just really blend everything after. I'm just adding the colors where I need them first. I always brighten right here, kind of like in my, between my eyebrows, my T-zone a little bit right around here. And then down the nose to add to that illusion of the contour. Just by doing these little steps, you can already see the nose like thinning out. And then I also add a brightener down here and right here. And then usually if I have like a little bit of a redness or like any trouble spots that are just really red on me, I have really dry skin like around my nose. Um, and it gets red, so I just like to cover that up with a brightener. Mm -hmm. um, even though using this product has made me less dry, I've noticed, it's actually really helped my skin. Which I like me. Hello, everyone. All right, so then basically that's it for my, um, my wheat, which is my brightening highlight. I'm going to go ahead and add in the main color goddess. So these colors are all customizable. My color lately has been goddess, but I can also use mango. I think at the beginning I even used wheat, um, but that was like right before the summer really got started. So I've been just using goddess for now. So basically this is what it's looking like so far. I have my one palette, that's all I'm using so far. I already put on my contour, which is indigo, my brightening. Um, highlight which I'm using wheat and I'm going in with goddess now hello everyone all right so I'm gonna add this 
um, highlight color the goddess over the areas where i haven't had any contour or brightening i'm trying to just avoid the double dipping double layering you guys are going to be able to do this however you want you're going to find your the rhythm once you start using your products i like to do the least minimal layers on my face just to make it as thin like as possible so i'm going to start on adding that goddess just really like quickly it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be blending everything in afterwards and I'm again I'm avoiding where I already added product just to keep the layering down to a minimum we don't want any cakiness um, like traditional makeup usually tends to do because when you're putting on traditional makeup you're usually starting with a base color which is your foundation and that just evens out your face into one color and then you have to add layers to keep that um, to add depth and shadowing and contouring so instead of doing that we're just putting this is all considered foundation this is all has coverage so we're just putting foundation but on the on the spots the colors that are needed so instead of putting one full layer of a color just to give you one blank slate we're doing it in one step okay so this is all has coverage you guys i know that coverage is important um so this will be exactly what you need and we have many brushes so depending on the finish that you want whether you're looking for a super um, light coverage we have brushes for that the one that's good for that is best blend forever that's just an example of one of the brushes and then like if you want a very high coverage full cover then you would be using the uh buffy okay natasha's basically has a full face of makeup over there so <laughs> all right all right guys so now that i've added my colors i'm gonna go ahead and start blending you guys can either put your blush now or after i like doing it afterwards yes I, I can't believe that I started off with that one um, one brush. I should have just gotten the whole thing from the beginning. All right, but to blend, I do like to use my B squared brush. This is also called blush and bronzer brush, and I like to use a smaller side. My favorite favorite blending brush. So you guys, I strongly recommend getting this brush. There is a bundle and it comes with the bronzer, which I think, I mean, it's a big, it's a good deal once you get both of them together. And if you get the bronzer, you're going to want this brush. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and if you're not helping assisting, get out of here. What did I do? Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just start blending. All right. And you can start blending wherever you want. I usually tend to go from the top down. Tasha. I'm just going to start blending these colors in and you will see them. yep Shh. that's right <laughs> how beautiful these colors you guys when you're blending in your contour just go up towards the hairline a little bit mm -hmm. we don't want any transitional colors I mean at least as possible so you already see look at that and then I come down and I usually do like the light colors first before I move on. You know what I was thinking? Katya, what are those videos you watch to go to sleep? ASMR. ASMR? Yes, mom. ASMR. ASMR. I might. ASMR. ASMR. I'm going to start doing these makeup videos at night. Maybe they'll, maybe I'll get uh, viral by putting people to sleep. <laughs> All right, all right, I'm doing my light colors. All right, and then I'm gonna go, once I feel like I'm blended pretty well off, I do my nose. So when you do your nose, remember you guys put lines and you did your contouring for a reason, you don't want it to disappear. When it comes to my nose, I like to stipple. Just stipple it in until you don't see any more harsh lines. So just stipple, stipple. You see, you can still see the lines that I made. They're just not obvious 
it just looks like I have a thinner nose. All right. And then your contour, I like to push up, not down. Don't ever come down on your cheek contouring. Just go up towards your hairline. Remember, get into your hairline. You don't want to have these colors just looking like they're placed on your face. You want it to look like if they're blending into your skull. The same thing on the other side. All right, and then once you blend that in, you can start thinking about your blush. And then remember also come down. That's right, girl. Like my sister once said, blush and contour are the bras of your face. <laughs> That was my sister's words, not mine. So there you go. Get all those harsh lines out of the way. Don't forget your jaws, ladies. Okay, look at that. Oh my God, like I look good, right? Like don't look at my face, like don't look at me. The colors look good. Yeah, mom. Yeah, all right Tosh? Mm-hmm. Come on, I need like some support. What are you Woo! here for? Yeah, right? Yeah, mom. Yeah. Mm. All right. So now that you're blended in, what color? What color? I'm going with nude, right? Mm. Yes. So we're sticking to nude. For your lips? For my cheeks. And lips. And lips. Can you cut Yeah. Yeah. Give me one. All right, mm. for the blush. Going in with nude, just pat that on to the thin side, the one that I just blended with, I use the same side, that thin one. I used to smile, like that's what they, everybody would tell us, Veronica, you let me know. So everybody's, you know, for all these years, smile, and then you do it like on the apples of your cheeks. And then somebody said that when you do that, and you put it right here, when you stop smiling, it the blush comes too low. So they said, just put it on without smiling. Is that, it look, It sounds like it makes sense, but is that like a real thing? Yes? So now I've just been placing it right over my cheeks without smiling. And I like to also drag that up and away. And I love blush, so I, I, I find myself digging in for more. I think this is the only part of the whole makeup that I like layering on because I love it so much. Yes. Any color, I've tried all the colors and I love them. Personally, I'm more of a matte kind of girl, but I guess it depends on this occasion. You're more of a pink kind of girl. Like a pink matte. I like anything pink and matte. What's matte? Matte is not shiny, like dry finish. <gasps> Let me see this. Okay, what is that? What? That little dent on. That has always been there. No, that, can you yes, leave? It has. No, no, you stuck your little fingernail in no, there. No, I didn't. Nice one. Okay. All right, so, right? It makes sense? You look good. And I don't even know who said that. I saw it on a video somewhere. But now I'm like, okay, I'll never, because I would tell everybody, smile. But and then your cheeks come down when you're not smiling. Unless you're smiling forever. All right. I need the hotline brush. This is a hard one. I mean, I hotline. Mean one. The hotline brush. This one. The thin one. Hotline brush. For your brows. So I'm going to be coloring in my brows. Can I see your fingernails? Fingernails? Yeah. Where's? Let me see the other ones. Let me see where the little shimmer and glitter is. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do it. She's clear. That was Didi's idea. Um, I, I normally do my eyebrows first. And I forgot. So I'm just going in with my hotline brush. And I'm using Shadow Trust. 
and just gonna do those very quickly if you guys don't know we got an eyebrow guru in the house iconic brows for all your brow needs all right all right just putting them in um, I still have good hair on my brows um, they don't really grow back that much anymore. I've been doing them since I was like 16 years old. Who is what? Yes, eyebrow guru is Veronica. Is that what is your site, thing? Veronica? Write it on there for your iconic brows. Yes, look at shadow. So the, everything is so conveniently placed. I mean, you can literally have your full face, your shadows, your eyebrows. Everything's in this compact. This is the only thing that I've touched. I haven't used anything else so far. And it just makes traveling and getting around so much easier. I thought I was gonna have a hard time throwing away my products. There we go. At iconic brow under um, at iconic ink underscore brows. So we'll post that afterwards too. Um, I thought I was gonna have a hard time getting rid of all my other makeup and all my other products, and I really didn't. Um, it felt good to get rid of all the clutter and the mess. I just feel like everything's so organized. Look at that. The shadow trust. We have shadows in different colors. There's perfect for any hair color that you guys have. We have um, options for everyone. So not only can you use the shadows for your shadow, but for filling in your eyebrows. So then that's that. And then another thing I like to do, I like to take my the same brush that I'm using, the Hotline brush. And I dip it into my contour and I use it um, as like a lip liner and I do this for like any color um, unless I'm just doing like a really quick and I put it on with my finger I like to use this with any color whether I'm doing a light color or dark color and it's just like a very quick a very quick um, lining nothing crazy nothing perfect But this just helps your lips stand out a little bit more and i like like i said i like more of a matte color sometimes usually um i feel like this kind of gives me more of that mauve color to my lip colors what was that oh no you keep you're like dropping pieces you keep telling me that what up claudia claudia you're i feel like every time i see you i'm a hot mess Hi, Sandra. Okay, you guys. So you guys have been hearing me talk and talk about the Yeti, personalized Yeti that I got for my mascara ambassadorship. And it was Sandra. She just joined. She did it by hand. All right. That was very sweet. She's like my biggest fan. <laughs> <laughs> all right so i line my lips again i'm using the hotline brush so this has your for this is for your brows right you can use for your brows but i also like to use the flat edge to do my contouring of my lips and really this isn't even contouring this is more like a lining and then once i finish lining i like to just go back in there and just pat it i don't want to have the dark like look i'm not in middle school anymore maybe back then i would have left a black liner with like lip gloss but not anymore so i just dab it and then i need my multitask brush multitask brush we're teaching names here this is my multitasker 
You can do this with your finger, but I'm gonna be super fancy today and I'm just using all my brushes. I'm dipping it in the same color nude and putting it over. And really, you can't see really that I lined them very much, but I did. And that's the point, that was my point. I didn't really wanna see that you lined them, I just like having that brown undertone. Sandra, I'm gonna be on here all the time. I'm gonna make a live like every day. I wanna see what happens to this Instagram algorithm. All right, so you guys, I just used Contour Indigo Nude for my lip. And I want an illuminator. So I'm gonna be using, I already have it in my palette. So the same palette that I've been using I'm gonna go in with Pearl. This is a cream, cream-based um, illuminator. We have powder and cream. This is a cream. The cream's a little bit more subtle. Does right. this make your lips look plumpier? Yes. So, a little trick that I always do, right before I put on my lipstick, I take my contour with one of Let's say this, this brush, the detailed brush, I use this all the time. I dip it in my contour and I just like to slightly put um, contour, like a shadow underneath my lips. I didn't really do it too much today because I'm not really going anywhere, but I like to do that underneath and then also right over. And it kind of gives you an illusion of a shadow, like if your lips are a little bit plumped. So that's always a good one to have. All right, so I'm using Pearl. It's a cream illuminator. So like in normal makeup world, the old, boring, traditional world, this would have been called highlight, right? But we don't call it highlight, we call it illuminator. This is what's gonna give you that glow. And you guys are gonna see the beautiful glow. Creams, the cream products that we use, hello everyone. The cream products that we use as illuminator are the more subtle, um, version the powder ones once you put them on it's like bam like it's crazy where's brush please i mean i'm sorry it's sponge thank you assistant all right so i'm using our beauty blender and i just dabbed that illuminator over my blush like on right here in my cheek bone and i'm just patting it in with the perfector sponge also for mascara and you guys look at that okay like do you guys see it? Yeah, they see it. They see it. Look how beautiful that glow. It's amazing. I love it. Yes. Pearl's my favorite. Well, I mean, I don't know. They're all my favorite. I really do. I love them all. But Pearl has been like in my, I guess it was the first illuminator I even I ever tried and it kind of just stuck with me. So I use the illuminator right over it's almost like i make like a little bit of a c i kind of like going this way over my blush and towards the top corner of my eyebrow and then i like to use the sponge this the one that i'm using is you it's called pearl and again it's more subtle it gives you more of a subtle finish but i'm like for me this is like a perfect everyday glow because the um, powder ones are really boom, like lamb. I like to save those for like when I go out or when I actually have like a date. Do you see Pearl. a shimmer? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes, the yes. name is Pearl. Pearl. And then I'm also taking Pearl, the same color that I just used here. I like to add a little bit down my nose. We have a package. Hello, Andrea. <laughs> All right, I like to use a little bit down my nose. You can also use this right over, like right under your um, brows, just to give you that little shimmer and illumination right there too. Pat, pat, just so you don't have any excess product. And then at the very end, I also like this to take the same brush and really, um, Kind of dig in, get all that makeup in to all my creases, my lines. You guys, 
I swear that when I put on this makeup, I see less. I see less wrinkly. I see less lines. I see less of everything. It really amazes me every time I put it on. Okay, so this was the Perfector Sponge. Just using it to get any excess product away. Like that. Hello, Cindy. All right, you guys. Like, that was... Imagine, this is like the most subtle illuminator we have, pearl, and look at that beautiful shimmering glow. I love it every time. You can even take that same illuminator, just dip it, and I like just to get like that little V of your lip, like that. So pretty. It's like, this is the perfect everyday get up and go makeup look. Um, if you guys, well, even though I'm wearing more of a matte finish right now, but I know some people really like that matte. Like they avoid the dewiness or the more shine. We have Vanilla Dust. Vanilla Dust is a setting powder right here. I have it in the same compact. So again, everything that I'm using has been in the same compact so far. I'm just gonna use my powder brush. I'm gonna dip that in like that. And then you can just put this anywhere that you feel you don't wanna look too shiny. I like the dewiness, I do like the glowiness, but not everybody does, but that's fine. Vanilla dust is what you can use. I usually like, when I do use vanilla dust, I usually set underneath my eyes, kind of come up my, my eyelids. And because I know my face, I know exactly where I usually tend to get shiny. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set in those spots. And we also have a setting spray, which I used right before I put on my makeup. Um, that's gonna help almost like a primer. Any primer that you already have that you're using at home, you can use it. Um, just make sure it's silicone free. Silicone and cream products don't um, mix well. So as long as it's silicone free, you'll be good. Obviously, I had to get my vanilla dust because it fits in my compact. Like everything that I've used so far is right here. I, it can't get any easier than that for me. I love it. All right, and I'm just adding vanilla dust to the other areas here that I get shiny at right here all right you guys so that would help out anybody who doesn't want to be you see the face so shiny there you go we have a solution for you guys too so like that I'm not gonna cover this shininess I like that it's not even called shininess it's called dewiness and glow right so you guys, that was that. So, so far everything I've used has been in the same compact. I started off with my indigo as my contour. I use wheat as a brightener. My main color is goddess. And I use for my lip and my cheeks, nude. I used trust eyeshadow to color in my eyebrows. Pearl illuminator for that glow. And then the vanilla setting powder just to pat away some of the shininess where maybe you wouldn't want to be too shiny. If you guys know that you're super oily, um, then go ahead and use the vanilla setting powder for that area. This brush is amazing. It's so dense. Look at the brush. Look how dense it is and compact. It's like made for the vanilla setting powder. I love it. Again, just dab it in there shake it up a little bit and just it like the the angle of the brush and the shape is perfect really perfect just to set in that setting powder again i started off with one brush no one told me i would end up getting everything i should have just gotten the whole brush set from the very beginning i ended up getting piece by piece so whatever um I guess we learn as we go all right so that is a basic color for your face <laughs> and
everybody needs every brush. At the end of the day, everybody can use every brush. I can do all my makeup with my fingers. Basically, I could even use my fingers to blend it if I really had to in case of an emergency. But every brush has a function. I am, I, this one's always been one of my favorites. It's called the Detailed Hack. I love it for contouring my nose. It's flat, if you can see the flat edges. And it's, you see, it's nice and straight. It's almost like it fits perfectly to contour your nose. So this is one that I love it. And I use the small side just to put on my other colors. I contour with this. I do everything with this brush. I love it. This one, Bella. If you have Bella, the bronzer, you this is a must. This is called the B squared brush. Um, also known as the blush and uh, blush and bronzer brush. This is perfect for your blush. If you have Bella, this is for Bella. And I use a small side just to blend in all my colors as well. They all have a, a purpose and a need, and I love them all. Um, Bella is a bronzer that we do have. I don't use Bella all the time. My sister will not walk out of her house without Bella. This is Bella. Bella's right here. The brush that I used for the setting powder, this is the powder brush. Power powder brush. Power powder brush. Um, and actually, it, this one comes in a bundle with the vanilla setting spray. I'm sorry, with the vanilla dust. So it's the brush and the vanilla setting, setting powder that I just used. And there is a bundle right now. So that's a really good one to grab. Um, and again, I like the dewiness of the of the makeup. I love how fresh and like hydrated I feel. But if you just happen to be in the mood to get that matte finish, I just did the matte and look, I'm not. It completely matted me out. So people are usually afraid of cream products because they think it's gonna be too shiny or they're just it's just too much. Guys, I just fixed it by using this. That was how easy it was, right? Yes, well. All right. So, the other thing I, got, I wanted to tell you about this compact, specifically, this is my, my personal compact. So everybody's is different. Um, I would pick different colors for you guys. Um, I just need a picture of you guys um, and I can color match you, but this is my personal color, uh, my palette that I take everywhere. Bella, like I said, I don't use Bella all the time. Yes, you need glasses, underscore face by me. <laughs> Bella, I love it as a as a shadow, you guys. Not only can you use Bella on your face to give you that um, that more of a, a suntanned look, which we're all gonna need now that the sun we're not going to the beach and we're not out there in the sun. I love Bella as a bronzer, um, Bella bronzer as a shadow. Um, Tasha, yes, I need a best blend. No, I need eyeshadow everything brush, please. Yeah. Thank you. Did you cut right? You did. Oh, I'm just saying hi, Natasha. I say hi back. I have a personal assistant next to me. She's learning all the colors and all the brushes. So she's had, if you see something going like this, it's her. <laughs> so I have the shadow, eyeshadow everything brush. And I just want to show you, I mean, I really wasn't going to even do my eyeshadow right now. But I really want to show you how the Bella looks as a shadow because again it just goes to show you how easy this whole product line is that you can have everything in one spot so i just dipped my brush into bella bronzer you guys okay and i'm just gonna go right here on my crease line gently and just start patting that in I, I tend to do um, both eyes, like step by step on both eyes. I don't know, some people do the whole eye first and then move on to the next one. I don't because I mess up a lot. And this way I know kind of, it's easier for me to fix it. I know, Cindy, I love them. I love everything. I love everything about this product. I have redheads, if you didn't notice. That's my middle. Hello. That's Katya. And I have my little brunette next to me, Natasha. All right. So I actually, this makeup is really good because it has a color for everybody, which was a perk of me becoming 
an artist because I was able to get the full artist kit and match all my family. If you guys, if, um, if you needed a color match, you can just message me after here, send me a picture. Um, the best pictures is going up to a natural, a natural source of light, a window, preferably indoors. You take a picture looking out, kind of have like your hand this far out as much as you can pull it out in front of you and shoot a couple of pictures, some neckline. I don't need to see boobies, but some neck is good and chest. So neck and chest right here like that a nice cut down like a v-neck and i can give you guys a color match um and if you can more than one picture preferably maybe of the front and one of the side all right so bella just dipping look how beautiful bella is as an eyeshadow okay so a little disclaimer about me I'm not a makeup person um, prior to mascara. Um, I did not ever use a full face and I never would do anything on my on my eyes unless I was going to like, you know, like a party or like a wedding, something like that. But once I realized how easy and simplified mascara was, it's really what drew me to the product. And made me want to become like you know just get involved and start using the product and once I started I knew that it was like a game changer for me it was really like a, a, t a total difference than what I thought of I knew about makeup what I was what I would learn about makeup on YouTube and you know all these different sources or going to Sephora and Ulta all these stores it was too difficult for me and it really was a turnoff to me it was too intimidating for me I just said, you know what, forget it. Thank you. I have, I have multiple assistants everywhere. I have another assistant there. Um, so it was just too complicated for me. I couldn't do it. Once I started using this product and I saw this, not only this, but that it comes, it's almost like buying the product brings you a personal makeup artist slash friend that's gonna be there to not only pick the colors with you give you their recommendation but also even be there once you get the product kind of like supporting you you know facetiming if you needed help on your first application it's just the whole concept of mascara beauty is is very um just drew me you know okay you guys look at bella that is the perfect shade to have on your shadow I really it has become one of my favorites to have this on as an eyeshadow look how beautiful not only is it pretty but it's like the perfect fall incoming color um, this can be it right here I also like to take that same um, eyeshadow everything brush and I dip it into Bella just to kind of complete the look And I just go underneath my lash line a little bit just to smoke it out. Don't go all the way in, just towards the end. Look at that. Look how pretty and easy. I like easy. You look like a supermodel. Thank you, child. I have my personal assistants and my cheerleading support system with me at all times. They travel with me. <laughs> or your children we have to travel with you I, and I, they're not even on my payroll I don't even have to pay them they should. Yeah, you should. well you guys get enough stuff from Amazon actually I am paying you that's true <laughs> I mean well I kind of gave you the money but you're wow mom. look at that alright you guys so you can see just by adding a little bit of Bella right under the lash line it just kind of adds to, to the look it makes it look like a little something something is happening you guys can add more if you want it to be more dramatic I'm good with this if you wanted to leave it at Bella that's perfect I know sometimes people are like well right now you look a little bit very you know you look neutral what can I do you guys you guys you can take your nude 
that you just use for your lip and your cheek. I'm using the same brush. And dipping it in nude. I'm just going to put a little bit of nude right here just to give me a little bit of a pink touch. Like that. And we are set, you guys. We have an eye color happening here. And really... If you wanted to go even further, same palette. Um, I'm not putting this down. I haven't put it down the whole time. I'm going to go in with that Illuminator Pearl that I used. Pearl. Just going to put that kind of like in the corner. Corner of my eye. There you go. Look how versatile all these colors are. Look how beautiful that already looks. There you go, guys. You got a whole face. You got the whole face happening here. Eyeshadows and everything. If you wanted to go ahead, I did use the cream for my eyes. All you have to do if you wanted to make that set and less shiny Go ahead and use a vanilla vanilla setting powder the vanilla dust and set your shadow just like that look at that the whole your whole face everything done one palette super easy and you're done out the door ready to roll that's it you guys so like I said if anybody was interested in getting a color match just message me on the side and we can go ahead and um, get you color matched um, all I need is a selfie of you facing a natural light source preferably indoors so that you don't get any weird shadows so inside your house just walk towards a window take a selfie you can go ahead and send that over to me and I can get you started um, if anybody was also interested in the artist program, let me know. This is the best thing I've done. Um, actually, it was like the best thing that came out of quarantine. It really was. I love it. So thank you guys. Like I said, I'm also going to be on here more often. I tried doing the whole Facebook thing. It's not working for me. I cannot figure it out. I'll help you. My assistants are going to try to help me through it next time. I'm your daughter. They're my assistants <laughs> at this moment. So I will be coming on here more often just to do more lives. I like to get on here just like so feel like I can kind of connect with my with my customers, my friends and help you guys through the whole process of applying the makeup. If you have any questions on a specific color, on bronzer, anything at all, just let me know. Send me a message and I can add that into my next video. <laughs> I have so many women in this house competing for the spotlight. They don't even give me one live by myself. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. Thank you so much, you guys, yeah, and cool. I will see you guys later. I'll take a picture of my finished product in a little bit. Thanks. Maya. You look so pretty. Does it? I can't really see when I'm doing it on my phone. You're